y'all doing today? The question of the day is how do I get into the LTSS or what's more commonly known as long-term health care program? If you're with me today, I'd like to introduce myself to you. I am the big hearted caregiver. My name is KC. I am uh, I'm the in-home health care boss. I'm the guy who helps people like you get into the Medicaid program so uh, they can turn their family members into paid caregivers, all right? Why would anybody want to do all that, KC? Good question. So what we do is we help financially challenged family members to become paid caregivers through the Medicaid long-term health care process program, or what's commonly known as LTSS, all right? And then we do that so every family can have a chance to, uh, you know, maintain their balance and stability, you know? I believe that no family member should go broke trying to take care of somebody else, you know? I mean, it's enough that you're dedicating your love and everything that you have to another person. Why would you want to be financially unstable at the same time? If you're here with me now, hashtag live. If you're here with me in a rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. A lot of y'all catch me on YouTube every day. So when you see me on YouTube... Just say, Lil, yo, KC, I'm checking in, you know what I mean? You know, let me know that you're with me. You know, hashtag your city, hashtag your state. We're going to get you all the best information, you know. Happy New Year to you if you're following us, you know, here on Facebook or in the real world, you know what I mean? Hashtag live. I like that that you're here with us. So, look, we're going to get straight into it. Now, I'm going to tell you the focus of today's message, you know. Today's message is how to get into LTSS. And what is the process? But the focus of today is all the people who are in the hospital right now. Because today is January 1st. We're kicking off a, a new year. A guy just called me. My 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 main, one of my main, main, main friends from way back. He called me. He said, yo, man, had a little turn. You know what I mean? Ended up in the hospital. He said, uh, you know, he was already Medicaid, getting some getting some help from Medicaid. But now his his needs have changed. So, once your needs change and you need a little more help, what they do is they put you into a program called long-term care. And they do that so Medicaid can not pay for your bill for you to stay like in another home somewhere. Medicaid wants to do everything they can to keep you inside your home. That's why they go so far as to pay a family member or some outside person to come in that's not even a... Uh, qualified to be like a doctor or, or, or a nurse or something like that. You know, they're what's called caregivers. Now, why would they do that? Because it's a lot less money on them to keep you in the home than to house you at a nursing home. You know what I mean? So I'm telling my buddy this and I say, look here, man, before you leave the hospital, you got to get into the program. Now, a lot of people, you know, they, they, they in the hospital, so they feel like they stuck. Trying to adjust my collar. Y'all see that I look crazy on camera, but it's cool. So look, they saying, uh, KC, I'm here. You know, I'm laid up. How do I get into the program? Well, guess what? If you're in the hospital right now, you got what's called a social worker. You got what's called a case manager. And if you got Medicaid already, you already got some Medicaid things going on. And you, you got some people in your corner. Now, while you're at the hospital, what you want to do is you want to utilize your resources. You got two, three people right there with you all the time. Work them. Work them. Because when you get home, things is going to be different. And they're going to go so fast that you're not even going to realize that you don't have the help that you need. So, number one thing I need you to do, if you're in the hospital and you need Medicaid, LTSS when you get home and you need a paid caregiver, talk to a case manager while you're there. Talk to somebody. Say, look, I need y'all to escalate my case. You know, I'm coming home soon. I need to be in this LTSS program. I got a nephew that takes care of me when, I, when I'm outside, a daughter, a, a sister, brother, cousin, whoever. And I need some stability in my life. You know, I'm coming home, I'm kind of jacked up, and I need more. You know what I mean? So what they're going to do is they're going to tell you you got to fill out an application. Now, this is the first step to the LTSS process. The first step is application. Now, since you're in a hospital, I'm going to tell you how to play it because it's a little different, right? So you're in a hospital. What I want you to do is I want you to talk to the case manager there. Whoever you're talking to about getting into this Medicaid long-term LTSS program, tell them, say, look, I want to fill this application out right now. I need it now because when you get out the hospital, you want to be covered, you know? So you got to start today. You can't get paid tomorrow unless you start today. So what I'm going to need you to do, make sure you stay on top of the case manager and say, look, while I'm here, I need to fill out this application. Get that good application under your belt. The second part of getting into the LTSS process is uh, 
is uh, what they do. Well, now that you're in, now now that you filled out the application, I'm sorry. What they do is uh, people text me. Look, while we on a live, 302-689-3240, 302-689-3240. If you want to get in touch with me, you got a good question, let me know. You know what I mean? I answer right while we on the air. So look, the next part is, uh, I'm going to keep getting stuck on this part. Next part is, okay, the interview's the third part. Application's the first part. All right, what they're going to do is they're going to hook you up with a, uh, a nurse. So this is the part that I wanted to tell you really bad, but I'm, I got this brain freeze right now. You know what I mean? January 1st, we're going to get right back on to it. So look, while you're at the hospital, excellent position for you. You're already there. You got doctors coming to see you. You know, they maybe even got a plan for, you know, uh, my mom was in the hospital. They came around once a day and they came with a plan. First thing in the morning, this is what we're going to do. When they come with that plan, you tell the doctor, you say, look, doc, hey, when I get out of here, I'm trying to get to this Medicaid LTSS process. Now, of course, this doctor, he may or may not be a primary. You know what I mean? Some people go to the hospital and they still see their primary because the hospital that they're in, their primary, you know, conducts business with that hospital. So you may be talking to your primary, you may not, but he is the doctor over top of you. So you need to be letting the doc know, hey, look. I'm trying, I'm going into this LTSS program, man. I need all your help because when I get out of here, I'm going to need to get a paid caregiver. You know what I'm saying? So you can have some stability in your life. All right? So filled out the application, number one. Number two, they're going to get you a health nurse and uh, 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 they're going to they gonna go through all your health stuff. You, you already put the doctor on point as to what you need. The third step is the interview. Third, final step. Whew! Mm. This is the best step. This is really the best step. And I'm going to tell you why. Because this is the step where you get to talk for yourself. See, up until now, all they was looking at is the charts. They was looking at the notes. They was looking at uh, the conversations that y'all had on paper. You know what I mean? Whatever you wrote down, they wrote you back. But now they're going to come talk to you and they're going to say, hey, look here, church. We heard that you want to get into this LTSS program. Tell me why you think this program will benefit you. Right. Now, when they say that, start talking. Now, what I want you to tell them when you start talking, tell them everything. Say, look, man, you know, before I came in here, you know, I, I was already uh, needed a lot of help. You know, I needed help with my activities of daily living. You know, I, I, I had my wife. She was she was helping me get up in the morning, get dressed, put my clothes on, put the toothpaste on the toothbrush. Sometimes I had to get her hold of junk for me. You know what I mean? I needed help getting to the bathroom. Uh, transferring from my, my wheelchair to a regular chair, doing this, doing that. You want to tell them everything. And now when you come home from the hospital, you're going to have even more needs and things that you, you're going to have to get satisfied. So you tell them, look here, doc, this is all the stuff that I needed help with before. When I come home, man, it's going to be really different. And, uh, you know, I'm going to need y'all to let me in this program because I need a paid caregiver. You feel me? So what do we got to do? We're going to recap the situation. While you're at the hospital, talk to somebody. Tell them, listen, I need to get into this LTSS program before my feet hit the street. You understand that? Listen, while you're here is the best time. This is the best time. It's the best time. You in their care. See, if you wait until you leave out of here, you're going to have to make a phone call going to see somebody. They're going to put you through the rigmarole. They're going to say, oh, man, it's COVID times. You're going to have to come in and you got to do this. And you got, man, listen, let's get all this stuff taken care of while I'm here. What's up, cuz? Happy New Year. They texting me. You know what I mean? If you on here with me live, happy New Year. If you on here in the rebroadcast, happy New Year, you know? So, all right. Then, uh, 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 like I said, first step is always the application. Fill out that application while you're in the hospital. Make sure your case manager gets that going. Then they're going to refer you to a, uh, a nurse. The nurse is going to communicate all of your uh, your medical needs to Medi Medicaid and let them know exactly you know what you need. In the meantime, what I want you to do is be talking to that doctor. Talk to your primary care. Talk to the doctor who's coming to see you. Talk to a doctor. Let them know that you're serious and we need to get into this program. All right? Uh Third thing they're going to do, the best part I told you is the interview. They're going to talk to you. They're going to holler at you. They're going to say, yo, how you doing? What do you need? Now's the time. Tell them everything. All right. All right. So look, y'all all know that if you need any extra help, you know, don't let them fast talk you, number one. Don't let them spin you. Don't let them fast talk you. If you need any help, call me. 302-689-3240. 302-689-3240. Now, why do I say call me? Because I can't talk for you. I can help you out as much as possible. You call me, I give you the best answers to your situation and all your questions. And if you call me and they spinning, you call me, why, why, why you got them people on the phone and I talk for you? 
But like I said, I can't talk for you without you because it's your stuff. You know, I can help you as much as you need, but I can't do it for you. So let's get to the bag together, man. I would love to help, you know, the person who's helping you now get a steady paycheck, you know, because that's what you really need. You need stability. You know, what's going to make a person come by your house every day and say, hey, church, you need anything? <laughs> it's going to be that paycheck. <laughs> Without a stable paycheck, man, I can't really call it, man. I don't know. You know, like, I don't know if y'all know my story, but, you know, I had two parents who lived in the same household, you know, married for like 50 years. It seemed like to me one day they just got sick, went to the hospital. You know what I mean? Now, when they was coming home, I knew they both coming home. They're not staying at the hospital. But when they come home, they're going to need extra help. Now, I'm only one person. I'm one person. I got my own job, my own life outside of this house. I do other things. Now, when I knew when they came home, they was going to need extra help. So what do you got to do? You got to step it up. Now, got to go into the house, you know, got to help mom and dad out, you know, putting this thing together, you know, and I realized some other people may need this help too. That's where we came up with reliably. <sighs> wow. Genius idea, man. And if you're the person who needs this, man, I'm going to do everything I can to get you some help too. All right. So look. I got to go taking up a lot of time today, man, but we're going we gonna to get funky every day, man. So if y'all see me, man, you know, share this, you know, do what you got to do. Let's get this one out there. But uh, this is this thing going to go viral, man. We're going to help a lot of people in 2023 to, you know, really get it up. You know what I mean? Really get they, they pop it up to really get that, uh, that help that they need, whatever we got to do. All right. So look, uh, before I go, if you're a caregiver out there. And, uh, you know, this program isn't eligible for you. You know, it's a lot of those people. Like I said, I was one of them and it, it, it didn't help me out or help my parents out at the time. So I had to come up with another way to try to find and make some extra money. So if you like me and you're a caregiver and uh, none of this can work for you and you like, hey, Casey, listen, you know, we still need to eat every night. We still need uh, 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 electricity every day. You know, we still got to pay these heating bills. If you need something extra, let me know. You know what I mean? We're working on something really good right now for a lot of caregivers. You know, what we do is we try to earn residual income, you know, while taking care of our folks. How y'all doing? They, they, they texting me like crazy, you know? So like I said, while we doing what we have to do, we try to earn some other money. If you're interested in something like that, you know, leave a name in a comment, you know, hit me up personally, DM me, whatever you got to do, let me know. Also, if you're an agency and you need a little help, Mr. KC is going to throw that hat into the arena this year. 2023, I'm here to help all home health agencies get ahead. You know what I mean? Ain't no fun unless my friends can get some and it's enough money out here for everybody. So look, if you got an agency, if you if, if you in the startup stage, if you in a credentialing stage, if you, uh, if you just got it together and 2023 is busting you because now you got to get this electronic uh, 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 verification stuff going on and you need some help with that, call me. 302-689-3240. Look, don't let no grass grow under your feet. We're going to get this paper in 2023. All right? So, like I said, if you're a caregiver and you need something else, holler at me. If you need to uh, find out the big picture and get a little more help, rewind this video back. If that don't work, call me. 302-689-3240. 302-689-3240. Look, I love you. Happy New Year 2023. Be prosperous and, uh, you know, go far. You know, if you're a caregiver, pick that paycheck up. You know what I mean? If you're a member of LTSS, make sure you get a paid person to come see you every day. That's going to bring you stability in your life that you need. I got to go. Pop need me. So, you know. We're going to do our thing. Happy Football Sunday. Happy January 1st, 2023. I love y'all. Peace.